Hello, in this session we will create a moving organism using material. First, if you come to our Discord, you can receive a sphere mesh with a large number of vertices. After importing it, create a material. Next, create a noise node that can generate a noise texture. Then, set the parameters of the noise as shown in the video to make it look like the preview. Next, create an absolute world position node and create a divide node. Then, while holding down the S key, click to create a parameter node to set the value of divide. Next, as shown in the video, connect the absolute world position node and the parameter node to the divide node, and then connect the divide node to the noise node to adjust the size of the noise texture. Then, create an add node, connect it between the absolute world position nodes, and then create a time node that can call the time value. Next, create a multiply node. And while holding down the one key, click to create a constant node. Then set the speed of the time node as shown in the video. Connect the multiply node to the add node so that the noise texture moves according to the set speed of time. Next, create a cheap contrast node to amplify the contrast of the texture. Then use the constant node to set the contrast of the cheap contrast node to one to make the noise texture as shown in the preview. Next, create two power nodes and two parameter nodes to adjust their values. Set values for each parameter node, connect them to the power nodes, and connect the cheap contrast node to the two power nodes to slightly vary the contrast. Next, to set the color, Create a LERP node by clicking while holding down the L key. Connect a power node to the alpha pin of the LERP node to set the color's alpha value as shown in the video. Next, create two constant three vector nodes by clicking while holding down the three key. Select two colors you like and connect them to the LERP node, then connect the LERP node to the base color of the material to set the color of the noise. Next, use the constant node to set the values of metallic and roughness of the material. Next, create a flatten normal node to adjust the flatness of the normal. Use the parameter node to adjust the flatness of the node. Next, use the Multiply node and the Parameter node to adjust the strength of the normal. Next, create two Multiply nodes and a Vertex Normal node used to output the World Space Vertex Normal. Use one Multiply node with the Parameter node to adjust the strength of the Vertex Normal and the other multiply node is connected to the power node to set the area where vertex normal is applied. Connect the multiply node to world position offset to make the material move irregularly. Finally, to set the specular of the material, create a Fresnel node that can create a spherical gradient and use the one minus node to make the inside of the Fresnel node bright and the outside dark. Adjust the value of the Fresnel node's parameter and connect it to the specular pin to set the specular of the material. Return to the content drawer and place the sphere mesh that you imported at the beginning in the level, then set the material you have created so far.